good morning students let us continue chapter 6 in this chapter we already studied about the northern lowland which is almost plain surface and now we moved to the central mountain in which we have studied about a nodal point from where many mountain ranges are radiating and that nodal point is called as pamir knot and again under this we have studied about intermountain plateau once again children i want to remind you what is intermountain plateau an intermountain plateau is a plateau which is surrounded from all the side sides by mountains means at the center or in the middle of uh, the mountains a plateau lies and here few examples are given these are intermountain plateau now let us move forward to the east of the pamir knot lie five mountain ranges the himalayas karakoram kunlun altai tag and shinchar the himalayas run south eastward into northern india and nepal so children some part of himalayas lies in india and some in nepal they are the highest mountain ranges in the world this you know very well that mount everest is the highest peak in the world lies in in this range further east the himalayas bend southward and continue as the arkan yoma in myanmar children once again please turn over the page here the himalayas are lying and here is this is myanmar this region and here the himalayas turn like this instead of moving eastward it turns southward next range is the karakoram range lies to the north of himalayas mount k2 also known as godwin austin the second highest peak in the world is in this range so this karakoram range fully lies in india and it is just north of himalayas and its highest peak is mount k2 and its other name is godwin austin and this is the second highest peak in the world which lies in india the kunlun mountains run eastward from the pamir knot and extends into china so these all mountains we are studying which are radiating from pamir knot towards east the altain tag runs in the north east direction and continues into china next the shinshan is the northernmost range branching out from the pamir and extends north east ward to china into china the other important ranges include altai kingan yablo novi and tens sanovoi so these are the mountain ranges which are situated in this north with uh, this sinchan ranges in this region two there are two intermountain plateau now i hope children you understood what are what are intermountain plateaus the plateau of tibet lies between the kunlun in the north and the himalayas in the south it is the highest plateau in the world so tibet tibet plateau it is also an example of 
inter mountain plateau and this plateau lies at the highest point in the world so it is also called as the roof of the world in the north lies the plateau of mongolia which is enclosed by mountains on all sides the vast gobi desert lies just south of this plateau so plateau of mongolia is just at the north of gobi desert two great depressions the tarim basin and saidam basin are also located here in gobi desert these two basins are located and close between the mountain the taklamakan desert of china is located in tarim basin so taklamakan is a name of desert which lies in china the southern plateau let us move to the another physiography of asia located in to the south of the central mountains are three vast plateaus which are old stable blocks made up of hard crystalline rocks children here i want to uh, make you clear that uh, it is said that the uh, the plateaus which lies in asia they are very old and it is said that the age of these rocks are the age of our earth so they are as old as our earth is so they are formed of hard crystalline rocks these crystalline rocks are the primary rocks or the igneous rocks the plateau of arabia rises steeply along the red sea coast and slopes eastwards towards the persian gulf it is dry desert region so this plateau of arabia it is it it is found where in the dry re desert region the plateau of peninsular india has a steep edge along the arabia arabian sea coast and gently slopes towards the bay of bengal in the east it is traversed by many rivers such as mahanadi godavari krishna kaveri children here i want to give you one question you have to find out through which states these south indian rivers are flowing you need to find out this so the slope of this plateau or the indian or peninsular plateau is from west towards the east so these all rivers had cut down this peninsular plateau the plateau of shan in myanmar and the plateau of yunnan in china are parts of the same plateau so all the plateaus are same but as they fall into different countries so the names varies this plateau too has a steep western slope and is drained by the salwen mekong and sikyang rivers so these rivers are of china now next we move to the great river valleys many large rivers rise in the snow covered mountains and plateaus of the central highlands of asia so in asia you will find many great rivers which are arising or which are originating from snow covered mountains they are called as snow capped mountains means uh, the line above which the mountains are covered by snow throughout the year such mountains are called as snow capped mountain like kanchenjunga or himalayas these rivers have brought down the deposit uh, down and deposited huge amounts of alluvium giving rise to extensive fertile plains so children when the rivers are flowing from the mountains they bring lots of alluvial soil with them 
and they are deposited on the plains or just at the bank of the river and in this way the fertile basins or plains are formed the great river valleys are located between the central highland and the southern plateau so uh, in the center what is located the central highland and to the south located the southern plateau so between the central highland and the southern so central highland and the southern plateau lies the extensive fertile plains so next day we will continue the different uh, plains great river valleys of asia thank you children and here i want to tell you that my email id is rashmi s 2121 at the rate gmail.com you need to write all the questions and send it on my this email id once again i want to repeat rashmi s 2121 at the rate gmail.com thank you children and have a nice day